Starting off with what we just witnessed moments ago, a successful liftoff in what is now the biggest mission of NASA since the launch of the Hubble telescope in 1990. These are, of course, live visuals coming in. NASA has launched the $10 billion James Webb telescope from French Guiana. This telescope is also almost a hundred times more powerful than the original Hubble and will explore the possibilities of life beyond Earth. Uh, seated right behind him in that control room is Alicia Star, uh, a pair of stars uh, helping to guide uh, James Webb on its discovery of the stars. Alicia Star is the uh, lead uh, engineer for launch and ascent events. Uh, once the solar array is deployed and declared power positive, uh, then a uh, three out of the four hold downs for the aft deployed radiator will be released to prevent binding due to the cool down of the telescope's composite structure. The contamination control heaters will be enabled to protect instrument optics on web from any water ice condensation as they cool down. The and there you go. Just moments ago, we on. witnessed a this successful liftoff of the James Webb Telescope on board a European rocket. Now, let's tell you a little bit more about why this mission is so significant for mankind and its desire for space exploration and astronomy. The $10 billion James Webb Telescope will be launched or has been launched now already on a European Ariane rocket. This is a project that has taken some 30 years to design and build and is now regarded as one of the big scientific endeavors of the 21st century. The goal of this ambitious telescope will be to try and show the very first stars and galaxies to shine in our universe. It will also have the power to investigate the atmosphere of distant planets to look for gases that might hint at the presence of life. Jean-Luc uh, Voyer, the uh, range operations manager, continues to report a nominal performance for James Webb. And again, uh, Luce Fabriguet from the European Space Agency, uh, how is this uh, trajectory uh, being uh, carefully and methodically adjusted uh, to provide the uh, correct parameters uh, in the final stages of ascent? Yes, Rob, as you can see on this plot, the, the altitude is slightly going down. It's perfectly normal. The launch vehicle is uh, really on the, on the line where it should be. This decrease of its altitude, slight decrease of its altitude, will allow the launcher to benefit and the upper stage to benefit of the gravity effect and to increase its velocity until it reaches a thermal threshold. It's about Let's now tell you some of the live updates that are coming in. The main stage of the rocket has finished its job and separated to fall into the Atlantic Ocean. The upper stage's engine has ignited for a 16-minute burn with the James Webb Space Telescope. What all this means is that so far, so good. The mission has been successful so far. We've seen a successful liftoff of the James Webb Telescope. Orbit around the Earth with an apogee, a very high apogee, above uh, 1 million kilometers. Trajectory uh, nominal, as reported by Jean-Luc uh, Voyer. You see him in that uh, view, 185 kilometers in altitude, uh, some 4,500 kilometers downrange. Let's tell you a little bit more about this ambitious Peru, mission. Now, the anticipation surrounding it was quite high. Second, uh, the people involved right the were quite right anxious since Everything this happens great. to be a very significant are, mission are for about, uh, space exploration, especially because the Hubble telescope the is now outdated. Its lifespan was about 30 years, so it's pretty much now in safe mode. So the James Webb telescope, its successor, and its mission to enter the orbit is highly significant on all counts. To get to space, though, uh, James Webb Telescope must first survive about a 27-minute ascent on what is in effect a controlled explosion. That is why all the people involved in this project are closely monitoring every move of this rocket on board uh, which the telescope is housed. And this telescope then has to, in a way, unfold itself in a series of complex deployments that are taking place as of now, all of which must be completed flawlessly or it won't work simply. Webb will be at an altitude of approximately 864 miles, statute miles, traveling some 21,000 miles uh, an hour. Getting you some more details about this telescope. Uh, the James Webb Telescope, of course, is named after one of the architects of the Apollo Moon Program and the space agencies of the U.S., Europe, and Canada, who are all partners on this project. And they believe that it is a science flagship of no less importance. Shutdown. The, uh, stage has performed, the James uh, has Webb Telescope planned. is the successor of the famous no Hubble Telescope reported, uh, the launch and it is intended to build on the findings of the Hubble time. 
which after 31 years in orbit is now nearing the end of its operations. Simply put, it's outdated and the James Webb telescope is going to be carrying on the legacy here on. The telescope will look deeper into the cosmos to an extent and therefore much further back in time. We have to look back to know what's coming for us in the future and that is what, in a sense, the telescope intends to do. Because it's important that the satellite, the telescope, is not inserted on an escape orbit. It will be placed on a terrestrial orbit so that there will be time for the layoff, for the, for the early phase operations. On the Let's recap a bit for all our viewers who are tuning into Vion. As of now, just moments ago, we showed you live coverage of the James Webb Telescope successfully lifting off from French Guiana aboard a European rocket. And of course, even though we're Some tense moments right there as the countdown the began. People involved in this project have been closely monitoring every move, every deployment of this telescope. All modeled in advance. Uh, in it is a highly expensive proposition to too. The $10 billion James Webb Telescope has now been launched and, and it is a project that has taken a lot of hard work, anticipation, 30 years in the making. The Ariane 5 rocket, which is about uh, six and a half minutes from now. Eighteen and a half minutes into the flight. It's very quiet now here in the uh, control center here in Kourou. NASA officials, European Space Agency officials, Ariane Spas officials, all watching uh, telemetry very carefully. Let's now tell you a little bit more about how the Hubble telescope, which was launched in 1990, is different from the James Webb telescope. The Hubble was launched in 1990 and is currently on its last leg. It has been nearly 31 years in operation and is now uh, simply outdated. It is now on a safe mode, at, as it is called. And at this crucial juncture, the James Webb telescope was rocketed into the orbit. This telescope has been called the successor to the Hubble and a comparison between the two shows us why. So let's tell you more about that. The James Webb is considered to be a time machine in space, similar to the Hubble. Their ability to view faraway objects makes them a stellar asset. The data from the Hubble has formed the basis of understanding of the outer world, something that we have relied on for decades now. The Hubble has discovered new planets, satellites and distant gal galaxies even. In 2012, the telescope showed seven primitive galaxies formed more than 13 billion years ago and more importantly, when the universe was less than 4% of its present age, which lies very close to the time period of the Big Bang. The Hubble was of course put into orbit at a time when we did not have enough information about the existence of stars and galaxies for a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Hubble absolutely has changed the way humans look at the universe and our place in it. It shows us that the universe has been changing over time, that stars, in fact, are an integral part of producing the types of elements that we need for life, for planets, for our well-being. You heard it. The legacy of the Hubble is something that we all deeply rely on and the James Webb, which is going to be the successor, has a lot of hard work to do. There was not enough technology at that time that the Hubble was around. The James Webb telescope is expected to fill the gaps that the Hubble could not due to certain technical limitations. Much of the Hubble's telescope ability was limited due to certain technical faults in its mirrors. And that's what makes the new James Webb Telescope a game changer because it comes with 18 pieces of glass to overcome that very hurdle. The telescope also possesses infrared technology to capture images based on frequency. The Hubble had a wide field camera based on wavelength, but the new telescope will as well be located at a much higher altitude which will then help locate planets and galaxies which were unknown until before. And instead of orbiting the Earth, this is very significant, the James Webb Telescope will orbit the Sun and hence it operates at minus 230 degrees Celsius. The Hubble orbited the Earth and had an operating temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. That's a huge difference.
Less than three minutes of powered flight Good remaining. Smooth flight control. What James Webb is really going to be doing in the field of astrophysics is looking for the very first galaxies that formed in the universe. We also, with this new infrared capability, can peer into these very dark clouds where stars are being born. Exciting times for all those interested in space, space enthusiasts and mankind in general with the desire to explore life beyond Earth. Space exploration, of course, is a fascinating topic for all of us, which is what makes this moment a huge one and a milestone in history for astronomy, for space exploration. The James Webb Telescope is the successor of the Hubble Telescope, which was launched in 1990. It is now outdated. Um, uh, several technical uh, faults in the system uh, are signaling to the end of lifespan of a telescope that has given us so much. It has a huge legacy of uh, findings, discoveries of life and um, the planets beyond uh, ours. And that is why the James Webb Telescope and its launch, its successful liftoff is so significant on multiple counts. This telescope will help us gaze back into the beginning of time, which is what makes it so different from the Hubble. The $10 billion James Webb Telescope has been launched now and it has taken 30 years to design and build. People are calling it one of the biggest scientific endeavors of the 21st century. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.